Today you're going to learn how to create this 3D frame effect around any image on Photoshop. So we'll start with a simple image like this and apply this 3D box just around it. And you'll also learn some advanced techniques to make this box more realistic like adding these kind of splatter effects with the sand and also creating some blur effects around the edges of the box. And so you'll learn some uh, basic techniques at the start of this video and then learn some advanced techniques towards the end of the video. So if you like videos like this, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps out this channel to keep all of these videos free. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I come out with videos daily. And if you have any questions or any video requests that you want me to make, so if you have uh, a video that you want me to make on Photoshop or Illustrator or After Effects, then you can just comment down below and I'll consider making a video. So let's get started. So this is the image that we're going to start with and we're going to start by renaming the layer to Turtle Original Image. So if you don't see this layer panel right here, just go to Windows and click on Layers and you'll see this Windows layer right here. So just double click on it and rename the layer to Turtle Original Image. So just renaming your layers just helps you organize all the different layers that we're about to use. Next I'm going to create a new layer. So this is going to be a new empty layer. So click on that little icon just next to the bin icon right here. So that's the new layer icon. So this is our new layer and I'm going to uh, rename this layer to square. So this is where we're going to draw the square that the turtle will be coming out of. So make sure you have the square layer selected here. And I'm going to choose the rectangular marquee tool. So that's a selection tool right here at the top. So if you click and hold here, there's all these options like the circular um, selection tool, a single line selection tool, but we're going to use the uh, rectangular selection tool. So choose that. Then I'm going to draw, hold shift, and I'm going to draw a square just like this. So we have a selection just right right over the, the turtle. And you can also move the selection just exactly where you want it. So I think I want it just, just there. I think that's good enough there. And then I'm going to choose the paint bucket tool and I'm going to, and I'm going to choose a color. So let's see what a color from one of, from the image looks like. So if you want to choose a color from the image, you can just click around and it chooses like a random color from the image. So you can choose a color from the turtle, and the color will come up here. So if you like the color, then you can just click OK. Then you've chosen that color. But if you don't like the color, you can just choose a color yourself. So I might just choose, let's just go for like a, uh, a bright maroon color like this. Uh, just about there. Yep. So I'm just going to click on that and paint that just over like that. So next we need to crop out the middle of the square so we can actually see the turtle now. So to do that, I'm going to press Control or Command if you're on a Mac and click on the little square layer right here. So you need to click into that little square on the square layer. And that will choose everything in that layer. So everything in that layer right now is just that square. So we have that selection now. So next you, you get that selection, go to Select at the top here, click on Modify, and then click on Contract. So we're going to contract this selection. So you, we're going to contract it by, let's just say, 100 pixels. So it's going to make the selection smaller. Now you can see it just went from here to there, so it just contracted. So if that contraction isn't, isn't enough, you can just go back and click on Contract again. Or if it's too much, you can just click back on Expand, so it just goes back out again. So I, I don't think it's enough. I'm going to contract it a little bit more, maybe by 50 this time, and click on OK. That's a bit better now. So now we have the little square, and this is where I want the turtle to be coming out of. So I, don't, I want this part to be empty. So I'm just going to simply choose the square icon and simply hit delete. So now we have our square. So now I actually want this square to be kind of wedged into the, uh, into the sand. So to do that, I'm going to lower the opacity of the square layer. So just choose the square layer and go up to opacity here and just lower the opacity. So just lower it just enough so you can see the background. And now we can check which part of the image we want to kind of wedge this uh, square into. So I think I want it just in, in this spot right here. I want it kind of buried under that, uh, under that sand there. And I also want it to be buried just over here. Now I also want the, the fin to be kind of going over the square as well. So we'll do that later, but first let's just um, do this part right here. 
So to do this, I'm going to mask this square. So what's the difference between masking and erasing? So instead of just erasing the, these parts of the square, we're going to mask it. So masks just hides the parts of the square. Um, and if we make a mistake, we can just get it back. If we erase it and uh, if we make a mistake, then we can't get it back. So it's better to mask in this case here. So I'm going to choose the masking tool by clicking on this little square icon right here. And that will bring up this little square in the square layer right here. So this little white square. So watch what happens when I click on the um, layer mask box. So that's called the layer mask box. Click on that. And when you choose um, a paintbrush tool, and let's just say we choose a black color. And also the paintbrush tools hardness is, should be about, let's just say, 85%. It just uh, rubs out whatever is um, in that whatever is in that um, spot where we just started painting. So a white color would just reveal it. So if I, this time if I choose a white color, it just reveals things. So this is what we call masking. So if you want to hide things, you choose a black color. If you want to reveal things, you choose a white color. And if you choose a gray color, it just partially reveals things. So you can see the opacity of, of, of this area is slightly uh, lower than this area. So, and also if you press Alt and you click on the layer mask box here, you can see what we painted. And then if you press Alt again, click back on the layer mask box, then everything will uh, come back to normal. So this, this is just a good way to kind of hide the box just underneath um, the sand right here. So let's just choose a black uh, paintbrush tool. And I'm just going to simply paint over it just like this. So we only need to get this part here just right. So we don't need to play around with the other areas too much. So let's zoom into that. And I'm also going to make the brush size a little bit smaller so we can get into those little tricky bits there. And also, if you don't want the edges to be too hard like that, you can lower the hardness of the edge of the brush. So now the edge of the brush is slightly feathered. So let's keep going here. And also, just to see the image a bit more clearly, I'm going to lower the opacity a bit more. There we go. And let's keep going all the way around. So that looks good. So we got that edge just right. And now let's zoom out. And let's also get this part right here as well. So for this part, I probably have to lo um, lower the hardness of the brush even more because this these parts are like really feathered. So just lower the opacity, I mean the hardness of the brush a bit more. So kind of blends in. So we can get all of these bits right here. And you can also hide this layer just to see what the background looks like. So it looks like we have to get over these spots here as well. So that looks good. All the way around and all the way around. That's good. Cool. So now I'm just going to um, make the brush a bit bigger and simply just rub out the rest of the square right here. So let's go all the way around and get rid of all of these spots right here. So now if I up the opacity of this layer back to 100%, you can see the, well, you can still see that we've missed some spots around here. So let's just go back and let's just get rid of those spots. And you can see it so it looks like it's kind of buried in. So we can make it look even better soon, but we've kind of got that effect already. And if you press Alt and you click on the layer mask um, box right here, you can see uh, what we've rubbed out. So you can see the feathered edges and you can see all the little bits and pieces that we rubbed out here. So let's press Alt again and click on the layer mask box. And this is what we're left with. So just to make this effect a little bit better, what I'm going to do is sp sprinkle in a little bit of sand just over these uh, squares right here. So to start sprinkling some sand around these edges here to make it look more realistic and to make it look more like it's kind of fitting in, we're going to use this brush called the splatter effect. So not every single Photoshop um, versions is going to have this brush, but there are some other brushes that you can use. So if you use the, uh, if you click on the brush tool and you scroll uh, just all the way down, there's all these other brushes called the dry media brushes, wet media brushes, and there's um, the ones that I'm going to use are one called the splatter effect uh, bl brushes right here. So that's the effect that I'm looking for. But if you don't have these brushes, you can also use these other ones here. It's called uh, dry media brushes. So most Photoshop versions uh, have this right here. 
and I would use like something like this which kind of looks like a sand uh, or something like this so that's the kind of effect or the, the kind of image that we're going for so I'm gonna click on that and again I'm gonna choose the layer mask box uh, on the square layer and I'm gonna cho choose a black color to hide so we're still gonna hide parts of the square and now watch what happens when I start clicking um, when I start painting so you can see it's kind of splattering all that sand all everywhere on that square and if I make the brush a bit smaller you can make like smaller splatters you can kind of get into those smaller bits edges all, all the way around so it just kind of makes it looks like it look like it's kind of fitting in and you can choose some of the other brushes as well so different brushes have like more splatters like this one here so I might make it a little bit smaller and put up more splatters just around there and then I can make the brush a little bit bigger this time and probably put up more splatters so let's zoom out a little bit so that might be a bit too much but let's just zoom out yeah I think that looks fine there so now let's just do this edge now so let's just start with a different brush this time so there's heaps of brushes here you can choose from let's try this one here and let's sprinkle around so this one splatters a little bit more so maybe I can make this one a little bit smaller so I can get, get into those little edges there there we go so that's looking good let's make it a little bit bigger this time and get more more out into these edges and let's choose let's try this one this time so I'm not sure what this one does uh, that's Quite an interesting effect so I wasn't expecting that so let's undo that so I'm gonna press ctrl Z to undo or command Z to undo so I don't want these effects there there we go and let's try some other so you just try different brushes um, maybe let's try this one this time and let's sprinkle a bit more around here so you want to kind of get rid of those hard edges just um, around uh, around the square but not too much of the edges you still want to see that kind of outline there so let's zoom out and see what this looks like yep that looks pretty good I think I can still work on this one a little bit more and let's choose the paintbrush tool again and get rid of those edges there so again I'm just kind of looking to keep that edge the outline of the edge but not too much of it so it's up to you what, what kind of effect that you want to go for but this is the kind of effect that I'm looking for so let's zoom out see what that looks like yeah so I'm quite happy with that it actually looks like it's kind of buried into the sand so next I want to make it look like the turtle's fin is kind of going over the square right here so to do that I'm uh, gonna lower the opacity of the square layer again so just lower it enough so that we can see the fin there we go and then next I'm just going to simply rub out this part of the square just like we did before with the masking tool so just choose the uh, the paintbrush tool and this time I'm going to choose a normal paintbrush one of the general paintbrushes here and I'm going to make the hardness about let's just say about 90 percent and the size is fine for now so let's just choose the layer mask box right here and choose a black color to hide and let's start hiding so let's get into those edges so it depends on how accurate you want this to be so normally I would zoom in quite far and get it really accurate but just to keep this video quick I'm gonna uh, do it quickly so let's get into all of these edges here okay so that's a bit too much so that's parts of the sand right here so I want to keep those bits so now since we're using the masking tool we can just reveal parts of it back so you can just choose the white color this time I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and also maybe lower the hardness of the brush to maybe like 65 percent and also the size of the brush to about there you can just kind of reveal parts of the square there we go that looks good That's much better. So now let's zoom out. So now it's starting to look pretty good now. So let's uh, up the opacity and see what it looks like. So you can see it's starting to kind of go over the square. 
So we can just still kind of make this effect a little bit better because it's kind of just looks like it's just a cutout. So we can kind of feather it a little bit more. So you can just choose uh, a black color again. So I'm going to hide more. And this time I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit more. Not opacity, sorry, the hardness. And let's just kind of feather in the edges a little bit more. So it kind of fades in. So there we go. And you can maybe even lower a bit more. So I might try the hardness at 0%. Let's see what that actually looks like. That looks good. All the way in. Nice. Cool. And you can also do that to this side. And let's see what that looks like. It's probably not exactly what we're going for but we can still kind of play around with this a bit more. So this time we can choose a white color and we can feather it back just a little bit because I think I feathered it um, too much just there. So we can kind of make it all kind of blend in. So I don't want the edges to be too hard so that's why I'm kind of doing this here. So now let's zoom out see what that looks like. So I think that looks much better now. Cool. So now we have this nice little square that's kind of um, wedged into the sand with the turtle kind of going over it. So there's one more thing that I want to do just to blur the kind of the edges of this square. So right now it's it's a bit too sharp because we want to kind of still keep that blurry effect that's uh, in that image. So it makes it kind of look like the square is kind of fitting into the into the image. So to do that, I'm actually going to create an uh, an extra copy of the square layer. So to to create an extra copy, just drag and drop that layer into the new layer icon and then you'll create a, a, just an exact copy of the same layer. Then I'm going to hide the original square layer. So I like to cre create an extra copy just in case we make a mistake, we can just go back to the um, original copy. So now what we're going to do is go to filter, so make sure you have the square copy layer selected and go to filter, go to blur and Gaussian blur. So I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it's called Gaussian Blur. So what that does is it just kind of blurs the edges. And this graph will come up right here. And the more you move this little graph to the right, the more blurry it becomes. And the more you move it to the left, the less blurry it comes. And make sure you have the preview ticked on right here. So if you don't have preview ticked on, uh, it won't show you what it looks like um, on the effect. So let's just look at these edges around here. And if you click, click there, it will show you what it looks like. So I think I, we got just the right amount of blur just on these edges. Now I'm going to click OK. And you can see what it looked like before. So let's just zoom in a little bit. So this is what it looked like before. And with the blur effect, this is what it looks like after. Oops, let me just click that on again. Let me do that one more time, sorry. So this is what it looked like before. So the edges were quite hard around these sand sprinkles. And then afterwards, this is what it looks like. So it's a bit more blurred, which makes it look more like it's kind of blended in. So let's zoom out a bit more. And let's say you want to keep these edges here quite hard. So what you can do with this is just turn the original square layer back on. So it's back on just behind it. And now it's pretty much back to the same hard edge with that little slight blur on those edges right here. So it just kind of, kind of gives it a more of a realistic effect. And if you still want to keep that blur effect on the side, what you can do is just erase out the background from here. So what I'm going to do is create another extra copy of the square layer and hide the original square layer and just kind of blur these bits out. Oops, I'm painting it black, sorry, right here. So just kind of blur these edges out again. So that looks better on these edges. And then you can go to the other edge as well, right here. That looks good. So now let's zoom out, see what this looks like. So there we go. So we create a nice looking 3D frame around this um, around this turtle. And if you want to create just a square, like you want to cut out the rest of the image, you can click on this crop tool right here. It's called the crop tool. And this all these controls will come up right here. And you can just crop the entire image just where you want it to be. Maybe just around there and hit enter, and there's your image. So that's 
That's it for today's video. If you have any questions about any of the steps that we took in today's video, just uh, comment down below and I'll answer you as soon as I can. And if you haven't liked this video, please make sure you do. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe because I come out with videos like this daily. So I'll see you in the next video.